How's it going guys? So we started combining our soybeans yesterday. Took off two fields here that are close to home. We're not doing everything this week because our custom guy had some other farms to get to, but we wanted to get these fields done so we could plant our triticale. Before it gets too late, let that stuff get started because we want to be able to take spring forage off of these fields close to home along with these other ones. You can see how much it's already greening up in these cornfields that we have the triticale planted. We got that semi full and then this other gravity bin. Should be right around 1,500 bushels total. I'm gonna haul this across the road, put it in the grain bank over there. Then we got some manure to haul, and my dad's gonna start seeding. The yields are pretty good for how dry the weather was, and we actually replanted these beans because it didn't come up very good at first. I guess this is one way we can do it with our skid loader. It doesn't lift high enough to suspend it from the top, but keep it on the pallet like this. Got the drill filled up. Dad's gonna go start seeding. I'm gonna get the 4240 on the manure spreader. Pull a little bit of manure out of the, behind the dry cow barn there. Some people had suggested we cut a hole in the center of a pallet and then use the, the bottom of these. They have a, a funnel on them. To reach out over the drill far enough, we would need to use a forklift with the, the fork extensions on it. It'd be nice if we could just get all of our seed in a gravity bin and then have an auger and just load it up with a little auger. That would be more efficient. If we were big time farmers, we'd be doing that, but. scrape our dry cow barn out this way we can put it in the pit under the heifer barn if it's liquidy enough but we end up with quite a bit of solids it'd be nice if it was more soupy all the time we could scrape it straight in the pit it's just more efficient this setup is nice any rainwater that falls in this it just sloped that way down towards the pit falls in the manure pit the only thing is we should have a little more space here because this fills up pretty quickly I'm not messing around anymore. Planted a tree last week and now I'm into planting trees. Just brought these two red maples home. About a three inch trunk here, 15 feet high. I think my dad's about ready for some more triticale seed. We're gonna load the drill up now. We got the drill filled back up and the trees are off the pickup truck. We'll get them planted tomorrow. My dad already got the first soybean field seeded. Just need to do this one yet. I'm planted right up next to a triticale field here but next spring I want to put corn in this field and soybeans in that field I want to make sure I can see that line I'm just gonna leave a foot or two gap right here even after we mow the triticale you'll be able to see the line between the stubble there since we don't have permanent GPS mapping of all of our fields I would probably be able to see the line next year because that's corn stubble this is soybean stubble but just in case we'll make it obvious This tractor is currently slightly cleaner than it usually is. It was actually used last night in our local parade. 
my ag teacher from high school contacted me, said they were looking for a tractor. Just wanted to shout out Ryan King, my ag teacher. He said he keeps up with the videos, I hope we'll see this video. Definitely one of my favorite teachers I had all through my school years, so I just wanted to shout him out. So these are autumn blaze red maples. Spent a little bit more to get these bigger trees, about three inch diameter trunk here. Just puts us a couple years ahead on having a big shade tree. Thought it'd be worth it. And they just cut them out of the ground this week for us. So they should take off and do really well. I don't like having a bare empty backyard. Really wanted to get some bigger trees going. Kind of hard to know exactly where to place it. We buried our garage right here. There's that old cistern, put a bunch of concrete in it. I didn't really want to put a tree over that. So we're out that way. Probably would have put it a little farther over this way if we could have. Then we have our drain field over there so we can't put a tree out there. Plus we want a big area kind of there open too. That'll be a good spot, I think. Getting hay chopped today now. My dad's loading bales for him. We got some older calves in the calf farm. We want to move out yet today. That means I have to move some heifers around. Got the truck already down here. I guess I'll wait till my dad's done chopping that hay unless I can sneak these heifers onto the trailer somehow. Go, go, go ahead. 35 is a little bigger than 33. We can yeah. keep her back. nine young guys in here took seven out of the oldest pen hauled them down on the road to where our pregnant heifers are these guys were getting pressed for space in the calf barn now they'll be happy in here a lot more space hey guys it's the next day here so we got this hay chopped stuck it in a bay in the commodity barn there and this afternoon one of our employees was here feeding cows for us so that he noticed some smoldering in there i was actually at my cousin's wedding they pulled some of the hay out of the the front of the bay there out in the driveway soaked it down good here gonna check it when i got home to make sure it wasn't burning here it caught fire just blazing out here i'm gonna get it out and spread this out thinner to make sure it's not gonna burn anymore so yeah that's what's going on tonight <laughs> thankfully we didn't burn our commodity barn down just throwing water at it with a garden hose for a while. Got rid of all the flames, but it's still smoldering and there's heat down inside the pile there. I don't think the fire was going at all earlier today. They just saw a little bit of smoldering, got the hay out of here. 
but uh, once I got it out here into the breeze, I guess it started flaring up. It's the next morning here. I wanted to show you guys the situation in the daylight. We chopped these two full bays of hay on Friday. Those chopper guys, they don't want to chop into too nice of barns because there's a risk of fire. If you get a spark in there from a piece of metal running through the chopper, you think that's what happened. Hay can combust if it's wet. Bales of hay can build up heat and that's how a lot of barns burn down. Don't think that was the case here with the chopped hay. I think it was a spark and it could have easily burned this whole barn down because thankfully it was in the front of the pile and our feeding guy saw it in time. If it was somewhere in the back, it would have just eventually exploded in flames, I guess, and burned up the walls. And They never actually saw any flame in the pile there. It was just smoking a little bit and they piled that out in the driveway here, wetted it down good. I thought it was out. We were at my cousin's wedding yesterday, checked on it when I got home and the whole thing was on fire at that point. So last night we spent a bunch of time spreading it out thinner, wetted it all down and came out this morning there's a little bit here that's still just smoldering i don't see any flames but it is crazy with fire once it gets going how hard it is to snuff it all out i spent a good amount of time kicking it around and getting water on everything and it's still some hot spots if that barn burnt down it wouldn't be the end of the world it's not the dairy barn or anything but still uh would not have been good and it could have easily reserved the shop barn there it's not that far away so that would have been a whole mess. Never got to the point we had to call the fire company. Thought about it, but felt like it was under control. You know, if you got the fire department out here, they would have gotten a little trigger happy with their water hose and probably wetted down all of our grain and everything else too while they were here. I'm gonna put a little more water on that there this morning to knock that fire down. 